Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on part of where you're at. Again, Anthony Daniels here with the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming from the <clears throat> book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 72. It's Mark 14 and 72, and I'll read it for you. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time. When Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him, before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Then, P then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. And this is a powerful verse. And this is where Christ has been taken. And the, the, the start of his crucifixion, basically, he's gone in, he's being questioned. And Peter has been watching him. And Peter has been asked three times if he was with Jesus. And all three times he said no. He denied knowing Christ. And, and when the Rooster crowed for the second time. Christ remembered, I'm sorry, Peter remembered that Christ had told him he would deny him three times before the rooster crowed twice. And when he remembered what, what Jesus had spoken to him, he broke down and wept. Broke down and wept. Now, a lot of people say because of this verse you have to be broken. To be saved, but I, I don't I don't get that out of here. God hasn't given that to me out of this scripture. The reason that Peter broke down and wept is because Peter realized that he had done something that was probably displeasing his Lord and Savior. Peter loved Christ. Peter's intent was to always be there for Christ to always stand up for Christ. But when a threat was present, they had, arrested, they had arrested Jesus. His leader was being taken away. His leader was under control. His leader wasn't fighting back. His leader hadn't called in the angels of heaven to rescue him. And Peter was concerned about his safety. So Peter didn't want to be associated with Jesus Christ. So he denied it. But when he remembered who he was supposed to be, that hurt Peter. It should hurt all of us if we do something that is unpleasant to Jesus. Now, after it doesn't say what happened next, but we do know that after this, Peter became one of the strongest disciples of Christianity. Okay. Uh, there was Peter. It was Peter that Jesus said, I will build my rock. I will build my church upon this rock. Now, Peter's not the rock, but Peter's building that church on the rock. Jesus is the rock. But that, that, that foundation that Peter helped establish after Jesus laid the foundation, Peter helped, helped build a church on the foundation of Jesus Christ. I want to make sure we don't understand that Peter is not the foundation. Jesus Christ is the foundation. But Jesus said Peter was going, was going to help build that, build that church on, his, on that foundation of Jesus Christ. And Peter did that because Peter remembered not only what Jesus told him, but who he was in Jesus Christ. And he wept because it hurt him to hurt, to deny Jesus. And as Christians, it should hurt us to deny Jesus. And, and as we get, as we go throughout our day, as we get caught up in things, we can't forget what Jesus has told us in his word, what Jesus has promised us. See, sometimes we, we're like Peter. We get caught up in, in what's going on. We get caught up in the day-to-day -day activities of the world. We get caught up in our trials and tribulations. And we forget what Jesus told us. Now, he didn't tell us that we would deny him, but he, he, you know, he told us that we're kings and queens. He told us that, you know, in whom shall we fear? But we forget those things. And we re when we remember 
who we are in Christ Jesus, when we remember his word, we should feel bad, just like Peter did. And we should, but, but, just like Peter, we know that Christ has never left us. And we don't need to dwell on that and stay in that moment of, hey, I can't, I'm not this person. You are the same person you remember you were in Christ Jesus. He has not left you. He has not taken any promises from you. You are still walking in his grace. You are still walking in his mercy. He still loves you. Continue to fight the battle. Continue to trust God. Continue to have faith. God bless you. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow night.